Hey everybody, welcome. So uh, this is the beacon of another Chinese satellite, the XW2D. As you see here, the details are written right here. Uh, it's coming for a great pass right overhead. So you see the footprint is in a good chunk of the United States and Canada. So hopefully we'll hear some hams talking because it has a linear transponder. So beacon is here on this frequency. Now let's see if we can hear some amateur radio operators just above it in the uh, 860 to 880 range. We heard something, we heard something, we're just gonna let it go through a little bit, but uh, we just heard some stuff, I'm sure we're gonna hear more. Beacon is fairly strong. We heard a few amateur radio operators. Uh, the wobble up and down signal, I believe, is because the satellite is spinning. Uh, my best guess is the satellite is spinning on itself, so signal comes up and down, up and down, up and down. But as you hear, we just heard some amateur operators, and there's more coming as uh, we get uh, 2B, which is following. So you, the guy was telling, the amateur radio operator was telling that now we're at 2D, which is right here. But just below here, you see that 2B is over South America. Now, this is going to be my next video. We're going to try to get the amateur operators from that satellite, 2B. So let's uh, see if we can still hear a few things from uh, this one, which is 2D or 2 Delta. We hear the beacon. Beacon is still, um, you know, receivable. So that means that if amateur radar operators are making contacts, it should be possible. And on these XW satellites, the beacon is five kilohertz below the 20 kilohertz range of amateur radar operators in the uh, linear transponder.
that signal seems to be pretty much gone. So this is the fun part of these satellites because now we have 2D right here going away. But we have another one following, 2B right there. And a little later on we have right down here at the bottom 2F that you might not be able to see well but 2F will follow. So it's cool because these satellites follow each other and give us some really really cool uh, contacts that we can listen to. So of course we'll be checking that out. We'll try to check for a cube bug 74 here also uh, in between so um, some interesting videos probably coming up today. Hope you enjoyed this series and uh, it's a lot of fun. If you've got a receiver that can get single sideband on VHF 2 meter band, uh, lots of fun. I'm using a very basic vertical antenna here so uh, gives you an idea that really the basic, most basic setups can actually work in receiving these satellites. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos.